So a few weeks ago, I compared the Lenovo X1 Yoga with the Surface Book 2, and I told you guys why I chose the Yoga over it. And I really did like that device, and I had a small problem, though, with the keyboard. It wasn't a big deal and something I could have lived with, but I did pay for it, so I sent it back to Lenovo for what I thought would be repairs. Instead, they refunded me my money, so that put me in a weird situation. But then someone notified me that the Carbon could be now ordered with LTE, so I took a look, and sure enough, they had the configuration that I wanted, so I did. All right, let's walk through what I actually chose for my configuration and why. So for the processor, I went with an Intel Core i5-8350U, which is a downgrade from the Core i7 I originally had ordered with the Yoga. The reason for that is, well, frankly, I don't need the i7. It's a really nice processor to have, but let's be honest, I don't really need that much processing on the go. Plus with the 8350U versus the lower tier 8250, I could order up to 16 gigabytes of RAM with the Core i5, which was important to me. I do like having an extra RAM. And I can do that with this chip configuration. For the display, there's always a tough choice. You can get a full HD with touch, but I didn't really care for that one too much. So I went with the WQHD, that's 2560 by 1440, which is also anti-glare and 300 nits. Now I wanted the HDR one, but once again, Lenovo is being weird here. So you can't order HDR with the silver body, which is what I wanted. You could order only HDR with the black one. Why is that? I have no idea, but again, leave it to Lenovo. When it comes to storage, I ordered just 256 gigabytes and that turned out to be a Samsung 961, which is a fine drive, but I also knew I had a 500 gigabyte 970 Evo laying around. So I swapped that out. Now, if you're interested in that, I did a tutorial on Windows Central and you can go check that out for directions on how to do so. And finally, the Hallmark feature I really wanted, I couldn't get on the Yoga with that configuration was the LTE modem, which is pretty cool. You just throw in a nano SIM on the back, works with AT&T, Verizon, basically every other LTE service out there. And it's a pretty good modem. I have had good results with it. It gets me online, I should say. But I've compared this before to the Surface Pro, which has a better antenna system. The antennas here run through the bottom of the device primarily. So reception is OK with it. But I would have preferred had they done a little better job with the wires and the antennas but of course that's going to jack up the cost. So now I've been using this configuration for the last few weeks. And I have to say I'm really happy with this setup. This is the device I need for work. Granted, I could do something better with a Surface Book 2 with a high-end performance system, but I don't really need that. This is getting me very good battery life. I'm pushing 10, 11 hours with it. The Core i5 is more than enough. And once I threw in that 970 Evo, well, this thing is super fast. I also like the instant resume times. And oh, I didn't even mention this has Windows Hello Infrared. So as you may have remembered, I lamented the fingerprint scanner that Lenovo is using here. It's a very good one from a security perspective, but from a user perspective, it's quite slow. Now I have infrared facial recognition. It just works beautifully. I also really like this display. Sure, the HDR display is really nice on the Carbon. That's a very, very glossy display, which is a negative trade-off for me. I kind of like having a matte display that's at this resolution that works out for me. But at 2.5 pounds, this is a super light laptop that I don't mind carrying around with me. And now I can get online anywhere and any time. So, but overall, I'm very happy with the Carbon. Now, if you want more information about this device, you can go check out my other video review on it. Let me know in comments if I chose anything wrong with it or why you wouldn't choose Lenovo for yourself. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.